A browser game is a video game that is played over the Internet using a web browser. Browser games can be run using standard web technologies or browser plugins. The creation of such games usually involves use of standard web technologies as a front-end and other technologies to provide a back-end. Browser games include all video game genres and can be single-player or multiplayer. Browser games are also portable and can be played on multiple different devices, web browsers, and operating systems. Browser games come in many genres and themes that appeal to both regular and casual players. Multiple browser games have developed beyond the online platform to become large titles or franchises sold physically in stores, in online marketplaces like Steam or XBLA, or in decentralized distribution platforms such as itch.io. Some notable titles are Transformice, Alien Hominid, Bejeweled, Bloons, Club Penguin, and Meat Boy. Characteristics Browser games are often free to play and do not require any client software to be installed apart from a web browser or browser plugin. In some cases a game may be free, but charge for extra in-game features. Multiplayer browser games have an additional focus on social interaction, either between several players or on a massive scale. Due to the accessibility of browser games, they are often played in more frequent, shorter sessions compared to traditional computer games. Since browser games run isolated from hardware in a web browser, they can run on many different operating systems without having to be ported to each platform. Topic: History. In 1995, FutureWave Software, wanting to challenge Macromedia's Shockwave program, modified their SmartSketch software by adding frame-by-frame -frame animation tools. The tools were released in FutureSplash Animator for the PC and Macintosh. In December 1996, FutureWave was acquired by Macromedia and the animation editor was renamed Macromedia Flash. This and the release of the ActionScript programming language, were some of the first ways developers made games for browsers. In the same year, Tom Fulp developed the games, Club A Seal and Assassin for his Neo Geo fansite New Ground. A year later, after making the sequels to both games, he made a separate site, Neo Geo Atomics, specifically for hosting browser games. In 1998, Fulp began experimenting with Macromedia Flash and combined both websites into New Grounds. By 1999, there was considerable traffic on New Grounds. He added a chat room and message board, along with the portal, where people could submit their own Flash creations. Newgrounds would grow to have portals for games, movies, audio, and art, and would spawn viral videos like the Numa Numa dance. Google searches for Newgrounds peaked at December 2005, and has an Alexa rank of 598 as of February 2017. In 1996, Microsoft acquired the small online gaming site, The Village. The site was relaunched under the Internet Gaming Zone branding. It first hosted card and board games like Hearts, Spades, and Backgammon, and would be renamed many times over the years to Microsoft Zone, MSN Games, and others. It received competition from similar sites made around this time, like Yahoo Games. A notable series that came out of Microsoft Zone was Bejeweled. In 2001, Robert Small and Tyhan Presby created the video hosting site Miniclip in London with £40,000 of their own funds. Their first video, about a dancing George W. Bush, became popular after they released an accompanying game. Miniclip would become the world's largest privately owned gaming site, and in 2008, the company was valued at £900 million. Google searches for Miniclip would peak at December 2007, and as of July 2017, has an Alexa rank of 1,572. For many years, the classic version of Minecraft was available to play on Mojang's website, but was unsupported and the link was removed at various points from 2012 to 2015 before being removed entirely. Minecraft's standalone launcher would remain the same, however, and is how Minecraft would become the second best-selling game ever released, at 121 million copies including consoles. The Google Doodles featured on Google's front page are often games, the first one in May 2010 being a playable version of Pac-Man on the Google logo, which got a permanent site at google.com slash Pac-Man. 
There are other notable games like the side-scrolling dinosaur game that appears in Google Chrome whenever a device has lost an internet connection, or a playable breakout Easter egg in Google Images. The overall popularity of Flash games on game-specific websites has lessened in the 2010s, and Adobe has announced they would discontinue Flash in 2020. The original iPhone famously did not support Flash. In his thoughts on Flash Letter, Steve Jobs said, the mobile era is about low power devices, touch interfaces, and open web standards, all areas where Flash falls short. However, browser games written in other formats remain popular, including 2015's Agar.io, written in JavaScript and C, and 2016's Slither.io, was written in HTML. The I.O. domain has become a popular way for developers to release individual games onto, because of its short length, the ease of acquiring the domain, and the association with programming because I.O. can also stand for input, output. Controversies <inaudible> 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 Many Flash games in the late 1990s and early 2000s received attention through the use of shock comedy or real-world events, like McDonald's video game, a satire of McDonald's business practices, or Darfur is dying, about the war in Darfur, Sudan. Designer of Super Meat Boy, Edmund McMillan, made many Flash games about dead babies for Newgrounds in 2001. One of the most controversial was Super Columbine Massacre RPG, released on April 5, 2005, which reenacts the 1999 Columbine High School shootings in a Final Fantasy VI-like aesthetic. Betty Nguyen of CNN labeled the game as an example of a terrorist subculture, and the gunman in the 2006 Dawson College shooting admitted to playing the game on a website. There are a few other controversies involving browser games and real-world events, such as the 2007 Virginia Tech shooting reenactment v Tech Rampage, and NRA CEO Wayne LaPierre targeting the game Kindergarten Killers after the 2012 Sandy Hook shootings. Persistence <laughs> 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 A persistent browser-based game is a video game that is both browser-based and persistent. Persistent browser-based games usually rely on some kind of server-side code, although some games use technologies like Flash, ActiveX, and Java applets to store data on the client's computer. Games relying on client-side technology are rarer due to the security aspects that must be dealt with when reading and writing from a user's local file system, the web browser doesn't want web pages to be able to destroy the user's computer, and the game designer doesn't want the game files stored in an easily accessed place where the user can edit them. The server-side code will store persistent information about players and possibly the game world in some kind of database. Sustainability, especially when combined with persistence, is a key distinction of a PBBG. This allows dynamic system modeling elements to develop and allow the game to progress even while the player is offline. Such games often last for several months. Technologies Browser games can take advantage of different technologies in order to function. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Web standards. Standard web technologies such as HTML, CSS, PHP, and JavaScript can be used to make browser games, but these have had limited success because of issues with browser compatibility and quality. These technologies allow for games that can be run in all standards compliant browsers. In addition, dedicated graphics technologies such as SVG and Canvas allow for the fast rendering of vector and raster graphics respectively. In addition, WebGL allows for hardware accelerated 3D support in the browser. Topic: <laughs> Plugin Browser plugins were used to provide game technologies after being installed by the user. As of 2017 most companies Oracle for Java plugin, Adobe for Flash plugin are considering ending support for their plugins. Also web browser manufacturers are leaving the idea of using plugins in their products in the future. See also 
List of browser games List of multiplayer browser games Notes <laughs>